What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, and today we are going to be going over none other than the Gammon deck for BT10. So without further ado, hopefully you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try my best to actually pronounce these cards right. I am trying new ways of actually being able to hear the pronunciations. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and talk about it. So let's get into this deck profile. I will pronounce these names as best as I can. First off for the Digitama, we have four Grimon. So from BT8, if the Digimon has 6,000 DP or more, draw a card. So it's a when attacking skill once per turn. So this allows us to gain card advantage. We do need it in this deck to get us to our pieces and really does help out in the long game. I think this is a very solid Digitama because any of the other ones really might not matter in the long game depending on what you're building up to. So I think Gurimon's really solid there. Next, we do have four of promo Gamamon. So this is 059 promo. So while this Digimon, while you have a hero in play, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP. So this really is really nice because we need that power boost. He is a vanilla, but that will help us in the long game. Just hitting magic numbers is very important in this deck. Then we do play four of the really good boy, uh, BT8 Gamamon. So your turn, when you play a red tamer, draw a card. If this Digimon has 6,000 DP or more, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. This will pop most rookies off the board, which really does help out in the matchup like Crossheart and stuff like that when they have their rookies out, anything like that, just to get them going away. So it's not a bad trade-off there. So that's how you want to go about it. Then we do have three of the new promo Gamamon. So this card is B promo 065. So when attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 2,000 DP. On play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 2,000 DP or less. So this is just helping you pop some threats off board. Really more rookie killing. Nothing too crazy there. And then finally, we are playing two Gamamon promos. This one is promo 58. So when you have a red tamer in play, this Digimon can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. Sometimes that really does help out, and depending on the stack, this can lead to being very beneficial for you because then you can remove a threat and maybe pierce in extra damage. So I think solidly wise, this is a very solid rookie lineup and I wouldn't change it much here. What do you guys play for your rookie lineup? I think this is very solid in my opinion. Next, let's go over the champions. We have none other than four Vitel Gamamons. This card is when digivolving Blitz. So this will help with our Konos Wisemon that will allow us to have him have Blitz when he gains his Inheritable when we Digivolve up. So that's not a bad idea there. And then we do play four Wisemon. Wisemon Gamamon. Sorry about the mispronunciation. But two for two costs on top of Gamamon, it also gives Piercing. Really not bad in ability so that we can set up for what we need. Piercing is really solid, and I think it's okay when you need it, but we can at least get through some damage here. Then we have Gauss Gamamon. So this card is for Digievolution 2 on top of Gamamon. All turns, while this Digimon has a card with Gamamon in its name, in its Digievolutions, this Digimon gains retaliation. So it's less likely your opponent's going to be able to swing into your Digimon to remove it off the board. Retaliation is a fair trade. Then on deletion, you may play one Gammon from your trash suspended without paying its memory cost. Not a bad trade-off there. Being able to play Gammon from your trash is never terrible. I think that's very solid and very useful. Then we do play three Kals Gammon. Kals Gammon is just basically your turn. This Digimon can't be blocked. And Digievolution on top of a Gammon for two. Not bad. I think being able to be unblockable really does help out. And then we do play none other than two Burning Greymon. Burning Greymon, yes, seems like a lot here, but let me explain a little bit about this. This card lets you Digivolve on top of a high, 
you know, your tamer like a hybrid for two costs. But it can digivolve for one cost on top of your red champion. So if you have Beetle Gammon in there, you can digivolve for one, building up your stack a little bit stronger. And I'll explain later for one of our card picks. And then when digivolving, if you have hybrid in its in its traits or Takuya in its digievolution, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. You could just play a Goonimon, but I think Burning Greymon being able to Digivolve on top of this might add some more value into it that you might not be expecting. So, it's not a bad trade-off here. That is our champion lineup. Next, let's talk about the big new card in BT10, and that's Konos Wisemon. Konos Wisemon is... A three costs on top of your Gammamons, level fours that contain Gammamon in its name. And then your turn, when one of your tamers becomes suspended, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. Then if this Digimon has 12,000 DP or more, it gains security plus one. A little more aggro base. He can naturally get to 10K. You just need one more for 2,000. So in all turns, this Digimon gains all effects of its G Evolution cards that contain Gammamon in its name. So it can have Retaliation, and plus 2000 dp pop something you know all the fun good stuff and then this digimon gains all effect cards in its dg evolution card cards with gamma mon and stain not a bad trade-off in so it can't give its own effect to the next evolution because konos wisemon isn't a gamma mon but that's fine we like this ability anyway and then we do play two chimera mon chimera mon is very valuable in this deck because dna digivolving for for a level four is really good we need to just need two level four so let's say we had a level four in raising and then we didn't have a way of playing a level four but we could digivolve our hybrid on top of it we can just digivolve that way and then you gain a way of getting into chimera Mon very easily and then when digivolving place one level five or lower digimon card from your trash under this digimon as a bottom digi evolution card and then for up to four of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1,000 DP for each of this Digimon's colors until the end of your opponent's next turn. Very easy to get to four colors in this deck. And then this Digimon is also treated as the color of its Digi Evolution. While this Digimon has four or more colors, it gets plus 2,000 DP. So the added DP is really going to help out. Being able to swing in really does some damage. And I think it's very solid here. And it's be able to even just get the Konos Wisemon underneath it will allow it to gain even more abilities and be more of a threat so very solid there now let's talk about maybe some megas so first off i think you don't need to play megas in this deck but i feel like having the megas really does take in some advantage here we do play one of starter deck 111 war graymon the reason for this is because by our abilities and everything like that, we can gain a decent stack. And naturally, he will be able to check for four on his own. Not bad. But depending on stacks and builds, he could be a lot bigger and a lot more scarier. So not a bad trade-off here. And then finally, we do play two War Greymon. That is when did you evolving from BT1. This Digimon gains security check one. But also this Digimon can't activate security skills on option checks. Sometimes we just need to be able to add those option checks it really does help out and shutting down options depending on your matchup really goes well, but also having this be able to swing into bare body boards might be very beneficial that way if you don't have to worry about it. So I don't want to go full send on this, but also having this as a backup is never bad. And then we do have one Blitz Omni. You know his drill. He's going to blitz for game and really just close out game similar to a hybrid in game status. So, not bad. I think this is a very solid lineup for our level 6 and level 7. Now, let's go over the options themselves. So, we are playing two Bear Claw. Bear Claw is really good because it gives plus 2,000 DP for the turn, but then by playing one Digimon card, by placing one Digimon card with Gamma Mon and its name from your hand to one of your bottom of your Digi Evolution cards, draw a card. And then it has a security effect that lets you, you may play one Gammon from your hand or trash without paying its memory cost. I think it's really solid. The power boost and the draw is really decent, but you are nagging one for this. So yes, you do gain some card back, but I feel like you might want to try out Rowdy Rocker. 
again, it hits less targets, but I feel like the draw two really refreshes the nagging of one. At least it neutralizes itself because drawing two by putting one under your level four or lower cards, red level four or lowers from your hand under your Digimon as a bottom Digivolution card, then you get to draw two. And then this card comes to your hand if in security. Not a bad trade off. I think solid wise, this is very decent support here. And then one Crimson Blaze. Just for that wide board shenanigans and deleting 6,000 DP or less, and your opponent can't play Digimon by card effects. Not a bad trade off. And then we do have high speed plugin. This card is just so that we can gain jamming. Sometimes that's all we need is to be protected. And that just really applies damage. And then security, draw one, and then add it to hand. So I think having the jamming really does make magic, make you have to worry less about magic numbers and let you get to apply pressure still. So, not a bad I option lineup, I think. There are probably a better way about it. If you guys have a better option lineup, let me know down in the comments. And then finally, let's go over the Tamers. First off, we are playing for Hero. Yes, I have proxies of this one. They're in the mail. I didn't want to not have this card ready for you. And then this card is when you attack with a Digimon that has Gammon in its Digivolution, you may suspend this Tamer to have that Digimon gain security plus one for the turn. Allowing you to apply pressure, really useful. I think it's very valued. And then we do play two hero so that we can go start of your turn. If you have two memory or less, set your memory to three. And then when you attack with a Digimon that has Gammon in its name or a level five or higher, you may suspend this tamer to have one of your Digimon gain plus 2000 DP for the turn. That added DP bonus really lets us hit magic numbers and get in with no worries. But Again, we'll combo out, see how the deck goes. Let me know what you're going to be building for this deck, how you guys are going to build it. And guys, if you don't have much to say, just hit that emoji. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And guys, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.